somewhere in beautiful, gorgeous East Tennessee. I don't even really know where area. <laughs> I don't even know how far away I am from my house. Probably a couple hours, hopefully not too much further. I lost cell phone service like 30 minutes ago. Uh, I was trying to come up this river and I, I've never been to this river before and I wanted to find a spot on it to try to maybe kayak it in the future. So I, I came to the spot, got a little rain and thunder coming down right now, but I came to the spot just to kind of, I'm trying to check it out. I said, let me go ahead and throw a couple lures around. And um, I was kind of like, I kind of think about like, usually I'm, I'm a finesse fishing guy, like for these kind of rivers. And then I was trying to, I used some little bit of some crankbaits and stuff too. And I was kind of wondering which one did better. Up in the middle of summer, what do you, what do you catch more fish off? Finesse fishing or like crankbait, like power fishing? Um, or maybe I didn't use top water, so I don't know about that. I didn't have uh, my top water stuff in my bag. Great little time, beautiful river. I definitely got to come back and explore some more. Here it comes. Oh man, this looks good. Very fishy. I kind of rock bass by hand. Where's, why is it so, I don't know, oh, it's got a gas taken out of it. Look how little that thing is. I was just sitting around down there and it, I just scooped it right up. I'll stretch it back out. Oh yeah. We're good. Oh my goodness. A million degrees there. They just can't turn down the Helgramite. I saw this little bass over there. Looked like he was chasing some minnows in and out of those trees. I threw a swim bait by it, even, even the Nico one. I threw the Nico swim bait by it. Nah, didn't, he just didn't do nothing. I was like, all right, putting the Helgramite on. Tie the Helgramite on, toss it over there. He came out, boom, picked it up. First cast. Hey. Nice large mouth right there. We all we got like little fish in it. We got some little fish in it. Pretty big in there. Oh oh, there he is. That's a, that's not the one I saw. That's a little one. But man, what a difference this lure makes. This type of water, these type of fish. Oh, there's some smalls in the back of the pool. Looking like they're ready to eat something. And I got a food coming up to them. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Got it. Oh, wow. This thing is really dark. I was about to cross over and then I just looked in there. Oh, there's another one right there beside it. Yeah, I was about to cross over, looked in and I saw these and I was like, oh, they are some in the back of the pool. Where they should be. Dude, this thing is gorgeous. 
There's a couple more that are right there, but another one about the same size as this one. I don't know if I've ever seen one quite like this. Man, look at the colors on that one. He looked black when he jumped out of the water. But now he's got this awesome brown coloring to it. What a gorgeous fish. All right, let's get this guy back in there. And uh, we'll make a few more casts before I cross over because I want to go down below this little waterfall area. That's a pretty small mouth. That's so, such cool colors. All right, let's cross over so I can go down the stream. Oh yeah. So definitely, uh, so far, the ones that I've found are in the shallower water in the current. That big pool I fished up at where that guy was fishing for a while. Then I came back here with saw uh, shallower and got some current and uh, just drifted in there. Boom. Got one. Nice. A good one? Oh no, it's a little one. <laughs> he must have just been taken off with it. Wow, pretty one though. Hold on. Oh, okay, get yourself off there. I'm getting closer and closer to the back of this pool. It's like more and more bites I'm getting. Oh, this looks like a fishy spot over here. Yep, <laughs> little guy, first cast. Lots oh, of spot, little spot of bass. Got a little rapids right here, and we got and the, the river actually diverts around, comes in the other side. Got a little waterfall. Oh, I think that was a fish. A little waterfall over there, so a lot of little current and oxygen coming in right here. Hey, there he is. Oh, a little smallmouth. This guy's got little uh, specks on him. I've seen it before. I don't know what it's. Uh, it's a little. I think I don't think it's anything harmful. There we go. Got a hit, came back. What was that? Hey, a little better right there. He was, uh, their bunch of must be right off the current right here. Probably waiting on a crawdad or helgramite or minnow to come drift right into him. Oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> I almost get a hit. I feel like I'm getting hits when I'm reeling it in. I may change up lures here, but this, I mean, this thing is working. Getting a lot of these little aggressive ones. I just love coming out of these places and just 
So now I'll just stand here for a little while. Look at the old bridge they have there, or that old road was through there. I saw that on their map. And uh, so the old bridge area, got a little rapids coming in here, rapids coming in there. Just nice, nice. Well, oh, oh, there's a fish, solid one. I was about to say something right when I got a hit. I changed up lures, got that thunder behind me. And um, this is a flat A, a lure I've been using a lot. And it, it's, it's pretty shallow and boom, it, it got me another fish. But uh, what I was gonna say is I really wanna kayak this river and it looks so good. So I'm gonna have to work out a way to kayak it, but I could keep, I mean, it looks like I could just keep on catching fish now that I've kind of figured out, you know, where they're at, these shallower areas. But uh, I'm probably gonna head back up because it's gonna get dark here in a little bit. I need to get back upstream, but I'll, I'll fish my way back up there. And I think I'll, I might catch two or three more, especially changing up to this little lure. I get something to slam it, or I might get stuck. Yeah. There we go. Solid fish. Well, he's in the current, so I can't tell. Yeah, he's all right. Come here. Hey, you're my biggest one today, probably. Not bad. He was way up in that current. Oh yeah, I knew there'd be something up in there. That's some strong current, but them fish, when they're feeding, they could be up in that stuff. This is where I've been learning to use the crankbait more to kind of be something they can hit really fast and also can be pulling it through some swift current and just have them hammer it. That's another really dark one there. just looks really uh like it's gonna storm but it hasn't rained or anything yet but now the wind's getting here so it's probably coming all right last cast this is one of those days where i'm not sure which one which lure i should have stuck with the finesse uh Helgermai or the um like the powered like crankbait type um man <laughs> Uh, a lot of it was getting it in the right spot. I think, I mean, this crankbait can get in spots. So sometimes the Helgermite can't. The Helgermite can be pitched away as a crankbait can. So I uh, started off with a couple of swim bait and wasn't getting nothing. Went to the Helgermite, caught some fish. And I saw that they were like kind of chasing it. Had a few chasing it real aggressive. I'm like, well, let me throw on this flat A. I really like it. And boom, I only used it for a little while and caught a bunch, you know, or not a bunch, but several fish off it. So um, <laughs> it's hard to say which one is gonna get them because uh, both of these lures have got me some really good fish and they both worked really well today. I only fished for two and a half hours. So I gotta end this video right.